So I see a lot of people are still rioting, marching, protesting. Day by day, laws is being changed subliminally, quietly. The thing about the marching is this, like, I, don't, I, I try not to really watch the news every day no more, and social media, I, I'm trying to stay off of it, because a lot of this stuff is getting mentally exhausting, it's time consuming, and the time a person spend watching this stuff on TV and social media, you could be doing something more constructive with your time, right? So right now, you know, black people, it's like a billion different movements, right? White, Spanish, everything. Everybody is going to capitalize off this black lie, off this Black Lives Matter situation. Everybody's going to capitalize, except for black people. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if y'all know about Martin Luther King, y'all know he was sponsored by the Rockefellers. Martin Luther King was an agent. He wasn't a part of us. Now, Malcolm X was different, you know, and I'm not saying it because I'm Muslim. Malcolm X was really for us. But Malcolm X team was infiltrated. He had FBI agents. I mean, he didn't know this, but unknowingly, he had FBI agents and stuff like that inside of his group. Now, the thing with all these black movements is this. You got bitches like Candace Owens, Tamara Mallory, Queen Asia. She's not a bitch. I'm not calling her a bitch, but, you know, Candace Owens is a bitch. And then you got people like Young Pharaoh, you got Sarnetta, you got King Tut, all these comedic science niggas. Then you got Riz Islam, you got Wesley Muhammad, you got the 19th letter, you got Red Pill, Blue Pill, Purple Pill. You got all type of niggas. You got Hassan Campbell, right? You got everybody, right? All, all these. Got to, you know, some people might say me too. I have me in it too, but I don't see, I don't see myself as a part of the conscious community or none of that, right? I'm just a, a ex battle rapper, underground independent rap artist slash ex street dude that just deal with critical thinking skills. So I want to add myself, but you have all these individuals. Everybody have different theories, philosophies, solutions of what we should do for this epidemic, right? This crisis, this, this, this moment in history. But the same way in the 60s, J. Edgar Hoover had agents infiltrate Nation of Islam, the Black Panthers and everything. Black Lives Matter been infiltrated. We know, you know, we already know that George Soros dude sponsored the BLM, and then we know we got the anti not we got the Nazi cats with the ACAB, all cops are bastards. We know we got Antifa, we know we got a billion people, the Anonymous, you got the Oath Seekers, you know, we is a zillion different groups from all races, right? The other day on 161st, you had all Latinos. Just, it wasn't no black person in service, it was all Borinqua saying, yeah, black lives matter and this and this and that. And they count because they, they got black in them, so they count. Don't ever get it twisted. But the same way the civil rights movement in the 60s benefited everybody else except for black people, you know, it, it, it benefited a little bit of black people, but there's a lot of Calvins. If y'all seen Django, y'all know who Calvin is. There's a lot of infiltrators. There's a lot of black people that act like they for us. And they not really for us. They, they here to stall us. They here to have us run in circles. They here to have us waste time and get nothing accomplished. And that's called progressive stagnation. So it's like the hamster in the cage. He's, pro he's progressively stagnated. You know, he think he's moving because he's spinning on a wheel. But he ain't going nowhere. So you have black leaders like that. They hear, you know, dudes is doing a billion marches. Niggas is marching so much, my fucking feet are hurt. The soles on my boots are need tax. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of marching, all right? There's protesting, whatever, whatever. Some people say, oh, hit them in the pockets. You know, we should, you know, deal with group economics and buy property and houses and stuff like that. 
the same people who own, the same people who print the money up is the same people oppressing us. So if people say, oh, we need to, you know, buy businesses and own this and own that, for those that are equipped on that level that know business and entrepreneurship and stuff, do it. You know, do it. If that's what y'all feel, if that's your method of overcoming oppression and being recognized by the machine. But I'm going to tell you this. I don't give a fuck if you own a billion houses, a billion businesses and everything, right? Whenever martial law kick in in one world order, they're going to public domain all your shit. They're going to public domain your shit. And if they don't public domain it, they can just drop a bomb on it. Same way they did, you know, the move movement in Philly, um, Rosewood. Black Wall Street in 1921 and Black Wall Street in 1941 because they we have they have rebuilt it back up. It wasn't the same as the original one, but then they took the, you know they got it got destroyed again. But you know Seneca Village, Rosewood, Black Wall Street, and the same way Atlanta is being um, subliminally crumbled right now with a lot of AIDS, it's LGBT, and you know a lot of these a lot of them dudes is infected. I don't give a fuck how much money they got with Benzes and cars. They got a lot of them dudes are sick. A lot of them women down there are sick. So, this whole blog is just about, yo, there's so many Uncle Toms. Not Uncle Toms. There's so many just house niggas. There's so many spies and infiltrators. And now that I see Oprah on TV marching. I see, I'm like, I see Beyonce giving speeches and... You know, I guess Master was like, yo, man, y'all got to get to work. You know, people's losing faith in y'all. Y'all got to dazzle y'all people. Y'all got to keep them sleep. And I look at all the celebrities, even from back with Richard Pryor, when he, him and Paul Mooney was joking, and he was making jokes how he fucked trannies and all that. So many black people sold out for fame. So many black people sold out for monetary gain, temporary gain. Just to be rich and, and be famous actors and rappers. Trust me, a lot of black soul out. And it was bad now. It was so bad about this shit now. You got Diddy and I'm saying, oh, we need to unite and we need to stick together. Fam, you about to be a billionaire if you're not a billionaire. You ain't never. You made niggas walk across that bridge to go get some cheesecake. And you ain't for the people, man. You know, y'all pockets is a little hit right now, so y'all trying to keep us dazzled. But yeah, y'all, I'm just telling y'all, man, preserve y'all energy, man, and see the bigger picture, because, you know, that's good people are standing up, but what about this winter? What about next year, after the elections? What about next year, summer? Like, like how far y'all planning and how far y'all thinking? Some people are like, fuck that, I'm gonna just live for today. I respect it, man, but just remember, man, it's a, it's a dark future. And it's gonna get a lot worse before it get a lot better. It's gonna get a lot worse before it get a lot better. So you gotta find out what y'all gonna do, man. And then you got people that's, you know, acting like they united with blacks because they know blacks wanna claim everybody as black. You know, that's one of our biggest downfalls too. We wanna claim everybody as black, even though the people we claim have black in them, but a lot of them don't wanna claim black. So why is black people claiming people that don't want to be black, right? So now what that is, you open the door for infiltration. You open the door to be undermined, duped, tricked, because a person would be like, oh, nah, you right. Yo, I am yo, I am black. I'm Chinese, but I'm black. Oh, yo, yo, I'm Dominican, but yo, I'm black. Oh, yo, whatever, whatever. Yo, I'm, yo, I'm Mexican, but yeah, man, you right. I am black, man. And then you, you accept them like, oh, shit, they woke. They, they alert. They in tune. And then they infiltrate. And then they apply their agenda. And then they capitalize off this situation and you don't get nothing. Because black people are so docile, they so welcoming. They they want to accept everybody. I just wanted to get that spill off my chest, man. There's a lot of infiltrators, there's a lot of house niggas. Niggas is marching in circles, wasting energy. And a lot of these people are sponsored. They being paid. Same way Martin Luther King was being paid by the Rockefellers. A lot of these people is getting paid to march. A lot of these people is getting paid to do a lot of things. Iron, intelligence rule over negative nonsense. Stay up like a cup, I'll back on my collar crack.